In today's video, I will be showing you guys a couple different ways to use a crappie rig, you know, modifying it, making it uh, a little different than just a traditional crappie rig um, where there's a weight on the bottom. Sometimes people put a bobber at the top and uh, suspend it or put them under a bobber, stuff like that. But I have a, a new way that I haven't tried to set up a crappie rig. And let's go ahead, get down to the lake and show you how that's done. All right, here it is. Little crappie rig action, modified with floating jig heads. Um, that rod is already out, I couldn't wait. Um, that one's already out on bottom without a float on the top. And uh, I'll let you know what I'm gonna do with this here, you guys. It's something I've never seen before and I'm, uh, I'm excited to do it, but. So, I've already got this other line rigged up, ready to go with a Carolina rig style setup. Main line, you have your, you have your sinker slide and your sinker. I'm using a two ounce weight. Down to a snap swivel. And uh, traditionally with the Carolina rig, you put a leader you know, whatever pound test to a hook. Well, today I'm hooking my crappie rig, modified floating jig head crappie rig to that. And then on the bottom side where you normally put the weight, I'm clipping the bobber to that. So what will happen is this'll, this'll get casted out. So there's the weight down there. There's the rod. It'll get casted out, hit bottom, bam. And then this crappie rig will float upright if all works out. It'll float upright. I'd show you on my other camera over here, but it keeps dying on me. It'll float upright and then you can adjust the height, the, the depth on where you want this crappie rig set up. Um, you could fish it for crappies as well. But today we're, we're fishing for walleye. The walleye are biting, so that's what we're doing today. Modified crappie rigs with floating jig heads. Try it out, guys. This is definitely something new to me. I've been using these uh, modified crappie rigs with floating jig heads for uh, a couple years now, but I've never used this setup where I put the bobber at the bottom. I'm really interested to see what happens here. Let's give her a cast, see how she feels. Oh, it doesn't look like it tangled up out there. Wait for that bobber to go under. There goes the bobber, okay. Yep, just reel down to the bobber, or to the weight. Now I'm on bottom with it and I can adjust it, bring the bobber all the way up to the top of the surface of the water. Look at that, that's awesome. You guys can't see that, but that is so awesome. I guess it's about six foot deep here. Ha <laughs> ha, let's catch some fish. I think that's a mouthful, crappie, modified crappie rig with floating jig heads. So I'm gonna call it the Ricky rig. Calling it the Ricky Rig. This one's the regular Ricky Rig, and this this one's the Wacky Ricky Rig. The Wacky Ricky Rig is the one with the crappie rig with the bobber on the bottom, so it'll float up to the top, and uh, Carolina Rig kind of set up for the weight. And the Ricky Rig is just the traditional crappie rig, but modified with floating jig heads. That's a bit much, but it's happening. Right now, it's happening. I just missed a really nice bite over here on the regular Ricky rig. Oh, I felt the weight of it and everything. It just popped. 
took my bait, so I fed him. Nothing yet on the wacky Ricky rig, is what I'm calling it, I guess. But we'll wait. Well, while we're waiting, actually, let's uh, let's do a giveaway. Matt at Northview Bait and Tackle ended up donating a whole bunch of stuff again, you guys. Got a bait caddy. Bait caddy is uh, for ice fishing mainly. Put your, your live bait in here and, you know, minnows, chubs, whatever you're using for live bait. Put them on in there. It's got a little floating lid to it so it keeps it buoyant. When you put it in your ice hole, when you're ice fishing, you just keep it in your ice hole and it'll just bob in there. When you're ready to get a, a minnow out, just pop it out of the hole. Bam, grab your minnow, put her back in there. But he threw in a whole bunch of lures, open water and ice fishing lures, along with some plastics and some line. Yeah. Also, he threw in a orange camo machete with a pouch. He's got it all there, you guys. Go check out Northview Bait and Tackle. It's off of uh, Kiwanis and Russell. Uh, really, really bright building. You won't be able to miss it. Stay tuned to the end of this video and I will let you guys know how to enter this giveaway and win this awesome stuff to get you guys started ice fishing or to keep you guys going open water fishing. Looks like we got a bite on this rod again. Let's see if we can get some action here. Get something to hook up. The regular Ricky rig. Yep, that is a fish. That is a fish on. <laughs> we got a walleye. Nope, it's a perch. Okay. So uh, these rigs will also catch you some perch and some eaters too. I think I'm gonna let this one go just cause it's the first fish of the day for me. But I'm sure we will be catching some more. Yep, just the regular Ricky rig. Catch you a nice perch. That's probably a 10 incher. Oh, 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 yep, that way, yep. There you go, bud. On the board. Okie doke. That was totally unexpected, uh, catching that perch. But I'm glad I did, because now I'm able to make this into a video, sadly enough. Uh, I was just, that day, I was just going out to get uh, an intro made, uh, some B-roll shots, and to talk about the giveaway what's what's going to be all in the giveaway and yeah cast the rod out and then get out of there come back the next day so i could just catch fish talk about the fish i didn't have you know i just wanted to break it up into two days to get it all into one video but i couldn't uh catch any walleye it was just perch a couple i ended up catching a couple more perch uh we moved to a different lake I ended up finally catching one little walleye, but the just the walleye weren't biting. They weren't cooperating. And that uh, wacky Ricky rig, that thing is wacky. I'm going to have to give it another try because that's an awesome concept um, on really working that water column on a windy day, you know, if you can't use your slip bobbers or whatever. But, yeah, I wanted to get this video out there just because I did discuss... The giveaway options and i didn't want to discuss it again so we're going to push this video through sorry there was only one fish but it was a 10 inch perch so the title of the video i don't know what i'm going to title it yet but let's go ahead and talk about how we're going to enter this giveaway and that is i don't know i i get comments on youtube um but it's kind of hard to track the people down so for this giveaway, kind of like my last giveaway, I think I did the same thing, but the how I'm going to pick somebody that's going to be totally different, I think, I think I'm going to do it just out of a hat. Um, but yeah, on this video, I'm going to upload it onto YouTube, so you guys are watching it now. 
But after I upload it onto YouTube, I'm also going to share it onto my RJC Outdoors Facebook page. So I want you to go there and comment on the pinned post of this video. I'll put it at the top of my, my uh, page there on RJC Outdoors Facebook page. I will put, uh, yeah, the title and all that, a couple stars by it, so it's really bold and out there so you guys know where to click. Um, on that post, I want you to comment done. Just as simple as that. Comment done, and then I will contact the winner. I don't know, on the next video, I'll probably do, out of the hat, I'll draw, put all the names of the people who commented into the hat, then I'll do a little sifting through the hat, and then I'll pull out the name, and we'll, uh, we'll get that prize out to whoever won but wanted to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of rjc outdoors we'll see you guys on the next one